welcome to the word from home series today i want to discuss about valleys and mountains deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 11 but the land that you are going over to possess is a land of hills and valleys we will meditate from the scripture portion from mark chapter 9 verses 14 to 29 I encourage you to meditate that passage. The first 13 verses Jesus is glorified on the mount of transfiguration and he takes Peter, James and John. And after that mountain top experience they come down to the valley and there they face a reality of life. As we are all facing corona across the world it is the most painful experience a valley experience where people are losing hope and today as god's children may we understand that god is god not only the god of the mountain but god of the valley christian life uh, following christ has got both these experiences there is pain and there is praise there is triumph and there are trials there is victory there is defeat and if we have to share the glory of god on that mountain top we need to share the pain of suffering in the valley in that scripture portion of mark chapter 9 verses 14 to 29 we will see three things and go and meditate further to get a deeper understanding the first one is the scene in the valley the scene in the valley is two things first thing was 14 says there were large crowds large crowds and large crowds people is a problem and right now corona people in groups is a huge problem even if two people are standing together we are encouraged to maintain a 6 feet distance right so jesus faced a large crowd and that was a problem and the second one was there was conflict the scribes were arguing so there was a lot of conflict and jesus checks with them what are you discussing or arguing about and there is conflict in this world we are receiving conflicting informations if we tune into the news channel somebody is saying something somebody is forwarding whatsapp messages that's why we are encouraged to only follow the news that is authentic if it is from the government a reliable source or if it is from the medical fraternity if it is from the police and so on and so forth please follow genuine information otherwise it will lead to a lot of conflict but in this world that is in conflict we should be the light and salt of this world light to make this world that seem to get even more darker may we make it bright by being that light and also being the salt so that we can make the world around us bitter better because right now it is getting bitter so may we make it better and may we make it brighter and the second one is that is the scene in that valley the second one is the struggles of the victims the victim was a boy who had been possessed by a demon and the father is struggling because he has taken the child to the other disciples that were there and they were not able to do anything the so the the situation there the struggle of the victims there was one there was a spiritual conflict and then the spiritual conflict is uh, you know people not able to do anything and the second one is there was loss of confidence the father of the child who has been struggling who is possessed by the devil says that you know, i have taken him to your your disciples and they couldn't do anything what a tragedy when we have got the holy spirit in us we need to operate in the power of the holy spirit and give hope by praying and pleading in the presence of god and our prayers should be effective and jesus gives the answer at the end and then the third one we saw the scene in the valley we saw the struggles of the victim but in that same valley we the save we see the savior who is victorious the savior who is victorious the first thing he does is he rebukes his disciples and he says oh you 
who are an unbelieving generation a generation and he questions them he says how long should i be with you god has always been with us he has done numerous things he has given us mountain peak experiences and now we are in this valley and we can't be desperate we need to be victorious we cannot live defeated lives we need to live victorious lives so he rebukes their unbelief and he says a beautiful thing bring the child to me today god is calling us to him he receives the child and then there is this discussion between jesus and the father an amazing discussion and the father acknowledges his unbelief and he says your disciples couldn't do anything if you can do something please do and jesus says it is not if i can the question is not about if he can he can always the question is not about can jesus not heal that is not the question the question is can we believe can you believe that we will come through this tough time this fight against corona can you believe based on the word of god we must believe and we will come victorious so he revives he says if you can believe everything is possible for those who believe so he revives the faith of the father and the beauty is restores the health of the child the child when jesus rebukes the demon the child actually shakes and he falls he falls as if he was dead and all the people think that he was dead and jesus picks up his hand verse 27 and he lifts him up think about it the boy was fallen but jesus lifted him up jesus is always in the business of lifting up the lives of people lifting up the lives of people and i just want to read one verse from first kings chapter 20 verse 28 this is what the lord says this is a prophet talking to the king of israel and this is what he says because the armenians think the lord is a god of the hills and not god of the valleys i will deliver this vast army into your hands and you will know that i am lord and you will know that he is lord he is not only the god of the hills he surely is the god of the valley be strong in him god bless you